So you want to meet women, you want to flirt with them comfortably, you want to manifest them into your world and eventually you want to go on dates and get laid more. If you really want to boil it down, it comes down to three elements. Your mindset, your body language and your communication skills. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Really important to understand when we talk about flirting is though that a lot of it is happening non-verbally. Yes, in this video we're going to talk about opening, closing, how to have a good conversation, also common conversation mistakes. But please keep in mind, women think emotionally and they make decisions not based on the words you're going to tell them, based on the exact content of a conversation, but how they feel during that conversation. It is easy to understand that, you know, there's two different men and they can say the exact same thing and then one man might be seen as attractive and the other man might be seen as needy or pushy. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So don't focus too much on the words when it comes to seduction, when it comes to you watching other people's videos, even when you watch my infield videos. A lot of the time, the stuff I'm saying doesn't matter, it matters how I make the woman feel in the moment, how present I am, how flirtatious I am, what happens in between the words, okay? So keep that in mind going forward with this video. Also, I want you to watch till the end because I'm gonna talk about mindset, I'm gonna talk about body language, and then very important, I'm gonna talk about opening a girl, what to say, and then how to close her, which is super crucial. If you don't nail the closing part, everything you do before kind of doesn't matter. So let's talk about mindset first. If you don't have the right attitude towards approaching, towards meeting women, you have no chance, right? If you think women are evil, if you think you're a loser, if you think you're bothering people by talking to them, you will not even do the first step. And all of this is under the umbrella of social freedom. You need to develop a certain sense of social freedom. You need to let go a little bit of what people think about you, right? I'm here standing uh, around a lot of people, I'm recording a video. I couldn't do this if I would care what everybody thinks all the time. And the same is with you being more social, being more outgoing, saying hi to people, and then especially giving compliments to women, which we're gonna get to later. Easier said than done, right? How do we overcome social freedom problems? How do we change these negative beliefs of like, women don't like me, I'm bothering them, I'm annoying, I don't know what to say, they, they will expose me as a fraud. There is a mix of getting the right input by maybe a coach or good friends, good, really good friends who tell you honest feedback, and implementing things without knowing exactly yet how to do it. Basically getting positive reference experience from the real world and proving to yourself that you are worthy, that people do want to communicate with you, right? If you would, for the next 10 days, approach 10 women a day, so 100 women, I swear to you, you would know for a fact, because you've done it in the real world, that women actually enjoy being approached, that they're not annoyed, that they give you positive feedback. Maybe they don't give you their number straight away and they don't meet you for a date or want to have sex with you right away, but they will be friendly, they will be charmed, they will be humble, they will give you a compliment back way more often than you think. Which means when you're about to say hi to a stranger, when you're about to give a compliment to a woman, when you're about to try to stop her and have a conversation, you need to believe that it's gonna work. If you don't believe it's gonna work, she will not believe it's gonna work and she will walk past through you. Which brings us to the next topic, which is body language. How do we move? How do we stand? How are we interacting with her? What's the distance between me and her? Here, it is really important to understand we wanna be grounded, we wanna be stable, we don't wanna lean in, we don't wanna be too close if she tells her with her body language that she's leaning back. We also don't wanna be too far away if she can't hear us or it seems very distant. So it kinda of comes down to calibration. Are we aware of our environment? Are we aware of our surroundings? And are we especially tuned into her needs, her emotional needs and her boundaries? And can we deal within those borders, right? Again, body language is crucial because it's not what we say, it's how we say it. It's not what we do, it's how we interact with her in this whole package. So you wanna use your body wisely. You don't wanna to be too boring, you wanna be a little bit engaging, but you don't wanna to be too gimmicky, you don't wanna be a clown, you don't wanna to laugh too much, you don't wanna to smile when you don't have to, you don't wanna stand really small and make yourself 
kind of shy. You want to present yourself in a proud manner, shoulders back, heads up, you know, have the, the feet kind of like grounded, uh, shoulder width apart. This will make you look more attractive. This will also actually help your inner game, help your mindset, help your social freedom, because you present yourself with a certain proudness to the world that will actually make you believe that you're worthy. So it's kind of going hand in hand. So we transition into actually saying hi, meeting a person, opening, right? That's uh, an umbrella term. How do we do that? What's a good opener? What should I say, Alex? Uh, what is your favorite opener? Uh, what is your favorite pickup line? All that stuff I'm getting asked all the time. And the answer is really, it doesn't matter. Or my favorite pickup line is, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I just thought you guys look so beautiful, so I say hi, like a good vibes. Because if you do what I so far said in the video, which is you believe in yourself and you actually think it's gonna work and you present yourself in a proud manner to the world, saying hi to a woman or hi, how are you? Hey, what's your name? Or hey, you look great today, is a powerful opener because she will instantly see that you perceive yourself as high value and she will perceive you as high value. So my golden rule with opening is hi, pause, very important, pause, right? It's not about the words, it's about the space in between and then say whatever you wanted to say. Okay, what are we gonna say after the high pause? Depends on the environment. So there's different environments and again, it comes down to calibration. Are we in a gym? Are we in a train? Are we at a music festival? Are we in a loud club? Or are we on an open street? Or are we in a quiet cafe? Obviously that makes a difference. If we're on the open street and there's a beautiful woman, I recommend strongly to do a direct opener. What does that mean? It basically means we observe her, we recognize something about her that spikes our attraction, that spikes our interest, and then we tell her that. And it can be as simple as, you look great today, I wanted to meet you. Or, I love how you combine your outfit, that looks wonderful, you look like a creative person. What's your name? I have to talk to you for one minute. Okay. Because you really stood out, you dressed very beautifully. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, are you going on a date or what's happening? No. I, you just came from Metro, you look so cool. Yes, uh, I looked at your bag. I almost got confused. <laughs> Why? It's, it's so many eyes looking at me. Uh, yeah. You had the most energetic walk I've seen all day. If you're in a more enclosed environment, well, we want to be aware of the surroundings. We don't want to make her nervous by putting too much pressure on her. If we're in a loud club or in a bar or in a social event, also different again because people are there already to meet. It's no surprise that you would approach her. So you can be a little more nonchalant so to say right you can just say hey what's up or hey what are you here or hey how you know the host or hey you've been to this club before or hey how is your night or hey what are you celebrating and so on all of this again comes down to to your delivery common mistakes when it comes to the first part of the conversation the opener are the following a lot of guys are very apologetic right they, they might come into a conversation saying excuse me do you have a minute or hi can i talk to you or hey can you stop please or i'm sorry to bother you but horrible beginning right similar to hey, do you speak english it's it's the, the energy here is i need your help can you please help me and really it means i'm not worthy of you can you please give me good emotions i'm i need your good confirmation that i'm enough and obviously that's a turn off right away it is a crucial first second where you basically put yourself in one or two buckets. The guy who is worthy and he likes himself and she wants to hang out with these guys or the guy who portrays the opposite. I'm needy, I need you, I'm not strong, I'm not, I, I can't provide you with security. She can make all of these assumptions based on the first or second, okay? So you wanna show up confidently and you wanna believe that it happens and you don't wanna be apologetic, right? You wanna have the mindset that she actually benefits from you talking to her, you making her day better. She adds something to her life by meeting you. So you should really believe in that. Like, hey, you're welcome. Not sorry, but you're welcome that I talked to you. Congratulations, I just showed up in your life, right? That's the idea you wanna have in your mind. Second mistake, very common is just talking way too fast. Did I? Sorry, sometimes that happens when I start talking too fast. Not leaving that pause, just saying straight away, 
Hello, you're beautiful. I want to. Hello, so you're there and you look great. All that stuff. Horrible, right? I'm exaggerating here a little bit, but often women are in a different world. They're wearing headphones. You need the high pause, wait, and then you say what you say. Otherwise, first of all, she doesn't understand you. You need to repeat yourself, which is kind of weird. And it just shows that you're not confident. Confident people have the ability to slow down, to leave a pause, to look, to smile, to leave that space, right? That's what the second guy who says the exact same thing that the first guy does that makes him attractive, that makes the first guy come off needy, nervous, fidgety. Lastly, when it comes to compliments, you want to adjust how often you talk about beauty, how often you talk about style, her energy, how often you compliment the way she behaves, how often you just don't give her a compliment, but just make an assumption or make a point out something you found curious or interesting about her. Because obviously the more beautiful a girl is, the less value a beauty compliment has for you. I hope that makes sense, right? If she's a nine and she's a model and she's maybe even been in magazines or been on runways or basically has been paid to be beautiful, telling her she's beautiful is not very special to her. And then if you're not 100% confident, if you're not really masculine, if you don't have a really strong masculine core, it might even come off as needy. So be very careful with who you give which type of compliments. If the woman herself isn't that beautiful and she doesn't perceive herself as top, top, top pilot value, you know, I'm not saying she's like, thinks she's bad, but she's just not at the top level. And you tell her, hey, you look great today. She will appreciate that and it will come off as stronger, especially if you deliver it with a certain confidence. Okay, so you have to keep in mind how confident are you coming across and how confident does she perceive herself where does she see herself in kind of like the, the sexual marketplace and does that fit? Are you giving her a compliment out of neediness and out of trying to get something out of her? Or are you giving her a compliment out of appreciation and you give her something, you give her a little bit of gold, you, you're rewarding her and she appreciates that. All right, let's assume the compliment made her stop. She wants to talk to you. Let's go into conversation. Obviously, that's a big topic because to be an expert at conversation you have to practice with hundreds of women and you know that's what i do in my coaching sessions and by the way if you want to have a free consultation with me you can click below i offer two per day so click the link below fill out a form and we'll be in touch to help you with your dating life but when it comes to conversation we can again make very simple rules the first one is she should do most of the talking right even if she's shy you want to get to a level where she opens up. To put a number on it, maybe she does 70% of the talking, you do 30%. Sometimes 80-20, sometimes 60-40, right? It should never be the other way around where you talk a lot and she's listening. Because at that point, she just doesn't care about you. She just met you. You're probably being perceived as a little bit lower value because you walked up to her and you don't have enough experience. So you want to draw investment out of her and then reward her for what she's telling you. So you wanna not only ask her a bunch of questions to make her talk, you wanna make her talk about something that she's passionate about, that she's emotional about, that she cares about, that she has something to say on. That's good in many ways, because first of all, she actually has more to say that, so she will talk more, and she really cares. And then if you then engage with that topic in the right way, she will feel good. If she tells you about her future plans or passions, what she's working towards, and you didn't tell her, that's cool. I like to meet a, a person who has a bit of a plan and doesn't just, you know, flow into every day uh, like that. That's really cool. Then she will feel good. A connection will be created with you. Same goes for you. When she asks you about yourself or she doesn't and you just open up a little bit about yourself, share something interesting. Don't just say, I'm working a lot or I'm here as a tourist or I'm just walking around, just hanging around. Just hanging around. Share something about you that is interesting to her, that gives you gives her a little bit of a hook about yourself. Something you're really passionate about, something you're working towards, your mission. You wanna tell her the story, you wanna give her the idea that you're a man on your mission, that you have purpose, that you have plans, that you have ambitions, that you're working towards something. All of this is very attractive. And you wanna do this in a nice balanced way. Again, when it comes to conversation, the rule remains 
it's not really about the words, right? It's about the idea behind the words. What are you conveying with what you're saying? What does it say about you, your inner beliefs, your inner values, your core strengths and weaknesses? Not exactly the words you choose. Also, you want to seem relaxed again. You don't want to fidget around. You don't want to cut her off all the time. You want to leave spaces. This is incredibly hard. I coach a lot of introverts and even though they're shy, right? I mean, they are shy, I'm not shy. Uh, and they don't like talking too much. Suddenly, when they're in front of a beautiful woman, they talk too fast and they talk too much and they change topic too often. So you want to really be grounded. Obviously, that, that's all a form of releasing pressure. That's why it's happening. So you want to not release your pressure through moving a lot or looking around or touching yourself or getting tensed up or interrupting her and talking too fast. You want to release your pressure through breathing, through groundedness, through releasing it through your body, not through your voice, so to say. If you've done a good job in conversation, you want to transition into closing eventually. First rule here is don't close too early. Often guys get nervous, they run out of things to say, and then what they do is, you wanna have a coffee? When really, you could get way more out of the conversation. So, close when you feel like you've achieved the stuff I said in the conversation part. You found something out about her, and she knows something about you. Easy. All right, what do we do when we ask for the number? What do we do when we wanna take her out? We wanna transition smoothly. So we tell her why we want to see her again. We tell her something nice in the end. Not again about the beauty, but we say why this conversation was cool. Hey, you seem like a really relaxed person. I want to do this again. Hey, this is fun talking to you. Let's hang out. Hey, this was an interesting conversation. I want to find out more about you. I have a good feeling. How about we XXX, okay? If you do that, your closing rate will at least double or triple. And when I say closing rate, I don't mean actually getting the contact. I mean getting a contact that actually wants to see you. Because as always, there's vanity stats like, I got 100 numbers or, uh, you know, I got that many followers on Instagram or that many views on YouTube. And then there's important stats, which is actually how many dates did you go on? How many girls did you get physical with? In business, how many deals did you actually close, right? The purpose of seduction, the purpose of cold approach is not to get as many numbers as possible, it's to get good numbers. It's to make an impression where the girl thinks, I wanna see this guy again, that would be cool. I like this guy, he made something right. Or I wanna be a part of his world a little bit, or at least I'm considering him. I wanna, I wanna follow him on Instagram and see what's going on. This is your goal. And then I'm already mentioning it, do we do phone number or do we do Instagram? It depends. Basically, the separation I have is if the conversation was really good and you could see her tonight, the next day, maybe in two days, get the number. You don't need to, you know, do all this Instagram stuff. Just get her number, chat a little bit, stay in the same energy. I can make another video about texting if you want and then meet her as fast as possible. If the conversation was a little shorter or you didn't get to know her that well yet or you feel like she doesn't really know much about you, which I would say 70% of the conversations that is the case or 80% or more, then do the Instagram. Because I said it in many videos, but I'm gonna say it again here. The Instagram is for you to continue the conversation. It's for her to get to know you further. It's for you to expand that seduction phase, get to know each other a little bit, comment on some stories she posted a little bit, DM her something funny and keep creating attraction until there's enough attraction created for her to meet you and for you to meet her. Also with closing, as with all the other steps, it is important that you do it confidently, right? It's not like, hey, would you maybe have a time like uh, tomorrow maybe to meet me if you have time, you know, bad. Or, hey, uh, can I get your number please? Bad, you wanna say it confidently, you wanna say it in a way where you believe it's gonna work. Like, hey, we should hang out, or this is fun, let's do something together. Hey, you're cool, you should join me with this. You know, it's like, I'm doing it anyway. If you join or not, it's kind of on you, but it would be good for both of us if you do. That's the vibe, okay? You also don't wanna like check her number if it's true right away. You don't wanna like introduce yourself in the text. Hey, it's uh, Alex, you just met me at this metro station like at 2 p.m., you remember me? You know, all that stuff, it's bad because Sure, it's logistical and you're making sure she remembers you, but you shouldn't make sure she remembers you. You should assume that she does. And if she doesn't, she will ask, 
or you didn't make a good enough impression in the first place and it's probably not gonna lead to a date. So the, the theme of this video where you have to show yourself in a confident manner remains from the open to the close. And guess what? This theme obviously continues throughout the seduction, which means the texting, the first date, the way you escalate on the first date, and then whatever other form of relationship you end up with the girl. If it's like a casual fling, uh, or a one-time sexual partner, or you become friends because it just didn't hit it off sexually, or she becomes your monogamous partner, you have to display confidence. I wanna talk more about escalation in the first state, but I'm gonna keep that for another video. So comment below if you wanna see that. And again, if you really need help with your dating life, if you really wanna take it to the next level and you need professional coaching on all of that, approaching, texting, your Tinder profile, your Instagram profile, what to say, how to escalate, you can book a free coaching call below. The link is in the description. If you wanna hear more about me, you can also comment topics and I read every comment, I appreciate it and see you in the next video, bye.